So the Barry Colts preseason is officially underway as they took on the Oshawa Generals today. And it's kind of fitting that it was the Colts and the Generals meeting to start off the preseason after what was an intense playoff series uh, in the first round in the Eastern Conference where Oshawa, of course, won that series in six games. But some of the veterans on this Colts team were playing like they had something to prove as uh, they kind of have short memories when it comes to this Oshawa Generals team. So let's recap how this preseason game went. It was Ben Horevic in net for the Barry Colts up against uh, Noah Bender for the Oshawa Generals. And uh, up front, we had some veteran players for both sides and some young talents. And uh, for these two teams, going back and forth, and early on, actually, we had crossbars from both Cole Bodwin and Ethan Toms, as those two are all over the ice tonight for their respective teams. It was actually quite exciting to watch as uh, those two are putting on quite the show in the first period. Uh, then we had uh, a penalty handed out to David Svaril of the Oshawa Generals, giving the Barry Colts an early power play. And uh, the power play looking pretty strong for the Barry Colts early on as Carter Lowe would get a power play goal. And it was a fantastic setup from Parker Vaughn to make it a 1-0 score. So the power play unit looking pretty solid so far in this preseason. Uh, after that, uh, Justin Hanser delivered a big hit on uh, Griffin. And as a result, Griffin and Matthew Buckley both went after Hanser and resulted in a second power play for the Barry Colts. And uh, the Colts, once again, able to respond. This time, Cole Bodwin. And uh, this one was a rebound goal. So Bender made the first save. And uh, Cole Bodwin, Johnny on the spot, making it a 2-0 score. Now, the Oshawa Generals were able to respond. Ethan Toms, uh, he had a great drive to the net. Hrebek couldn't handle it. And uh, he was able to get it past the Barry Colts goaltender, making it a 2-1 score at that point. But before the end of the first period, Riley Patterson, the Vancouver Canucks prospect, uh, showing off some great hands. He took it to the net and able to make it 3-1. So after that first period, it was all Colts on the shot clock, 16-7 with that 3-1 lead. Going into the second period, though, a little different. Oshawa playing a little more aggressive, and we saw even more physical play between the Colts and the Generals. Uh, Owen Griffin, he would find the back of the net. Nice wraparound goal. He had the original shot, took it around, and Hrebek not able to get across in time. And uh, Griffin uh, making it a 3-2 score at that point. Uh, after that, we had a big hit from Shamar Moses down in the Oshawa General's zone. David Bedkowski took exception to it. He ended up taking a penalty on the play. He got the instigator and the fight, so Bedkowski's night was done early. So the Barry Colts getting their third power play, but... It was short-lived because Ty York would also take a trip. So a four-on-four, four, great end-to-end -end action from both teams, just not able to capitalize on their chances for the Oshawa Generals. There was one point, Ben Hrebek out of position, the top shelf wide open, but the Generals just kept missing the net. They had their chances, uh, but just couldn't finish on those opportunities. Then it was uh, Tristan Bertucci delivered a slash uh, on uh, Pilipuk, who had a breakaway. So that resulted in a penalty shot and there's also a high stick, so Bertucci also handed uh, a penalty. So uh, Matthew Buckley, he took the penalty shot, nice move, and uh, he was able to put it in the back of the net, but uh, Bertucci in the penalty box for that slash. There's a little confusion here at the arena as we kind of figured uh, the slash was the power play, but there was also a high stick on the play, so two penalties and one on that situation. Uh, after that, when Bertucci came back on the ice, he was mixing it up with Tyler Graham. And uh, those two going nose to nose. The officials just wanting to calm down the situation, sent them off early uh, with misconducts. And it just goes to show these two teams don't really like each other. It didn't really feel like a preseason game at times, but the fans aren't going to complain. So it was uh, pretty exciting at that point. And then Zach Weigel, a great one-timer set up by Nolan Newton. And uh, that made it 4-3 at that point. But nine seconds later, uh, Ethan Toms, he would get his second of the night. And uh, that was 4-4 after two periods of play. Like I said, teams going back and forth. Shots after two periods, 32-24 in favor of the Oshawa Generals. Now in the third period, things kind of settled down a bit. The team's playing a little more cautious. Not as much rough stuff as what we saw in the second period. Uh, but Sam Black, he was handed a penalty for holding and uh, the Oshawa Generals not able to capitalize. A good penalty kill by the Barry Colts. But before the end of the third period, it looked like we were going to go to a shootout. 
Shamar Moses getting two opportunities off the draw. He fanned on his first shot, but the second one was the charm, making it 5-4, giving the Barry Colts the lead. And then uh, Matthew Buckley, a late breakaway in the dying moments, but he couldn't get that shot away. Hrebek able to make the pad save. So that would be your final score, 5-4 for the Barry Colts. Uh, fun times here at the Sandlin Arena to the start of the preseason. For uh, Oshawa players that stood out to me, uh, Ben Danford, uh, he had some big hits in this hockey game. I really liked his play. Uh, Ethan Toms also standing out, along with Owen Griffin. So some good signs there some from the veteran players of this Oshawa Generals team. And for the Barry Colts, Cole Bowen, Riley Patterson, Ty York, great chemistry. Uh, it's going to be a fun season for the Barry Colts. Uh, so there's some high expectations after all the moves they made, and they were looking good in this preseason game. So shots in the end, 41-30 for Oshawa. Final score, 5-4. Your three stars, Ethan Toms, third star. Second is Zach Weigel, and your first star is Shamar Moses. So the Barry Colts, they're back in action for the preseason. Monday at 6 o'clock, they're going to take on the Owen Sound attack. Well, the Oshawa Generals not back in action until next Saturday when they travel to face the Guelph Storm. So that's it from the Sadlin Arena. The preseason officially underway. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how this season all progresses. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as we enter this season. And we'll talk to you again soon.